Follow my cheap profession on the key possession. I'm OD aggressive when I run the rock. See me flexing in the winning section. If they press a bombing on them off the top, slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. Toss a bullet, hit you in the chest, and send a burn across your face from mind to slot. Please don't test them, I bring heat and brush it. Have my hitter brush, you move you off the spot. Slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. This is Matt MONEYSHOT, sniffing out the college cheese as always. In today's video, we got a brand new team we're using. That's right, we fell in love with the BYU Cougars. And I'm going to show you guys how this is one of the best hidden gem teams in the entire game. As we face off against the number one team in the nation right now, the Texas Longhorns, which is probably the best team in this entire game as well as they have so many quick jump abilities on the defensive side of the ball. This team is just absolutely broken. To the point where EA actually had to nerf them in the latest patch. But today I'm going to show you guys a defense out of my 326 defensive ebook called the 3-3 stack that's so good that it won't even matter. I'm using a much worse team. But before I do, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. And if you need more help and more money plays, you can download this or any of my ebooks instantly sent by clicking links in the description or the top pinned comment. The real reason I started using this team is because I absolutely fell in love with the roster. There's so much speed on this team, but it's hidden around the depth chart. So the second I get the ball on offense, I call a timeout, and it's always the guys who have the best teams that never give you any time to set up your roster oh you motherfuckers <laughs> okay And even though this team is a tier 4 squad with only a 75 offense and an 80 defense, it's all in speed. With an A6 quarterback, a 97 running back, it also has a 96 speed receiver and a 94 speed receiver and an 86 speed tight end on offense. And on defense, they have two linebackers that are A7 plus speed as well as two cornerbacks that are 96 speed. So I'm going to put these guys coming off the edge. Another reason I wanted to use this team is because I absolutely love this offense called the Gun Spread Flex as it's pretty much all trick plays. So if you guys want to see a full breakdown of this offense as well as some one-play touchdowns from it in a future video, possibly tomorrow, let me know in the comment section. As this offense is completely broken, on the first two plays, we see he's running a lot of man coverage. So we hit him with a simple zig on the first play before coming back the other way with a simple drag on the other play and almost getting stripped in the process. That was a close one. On the third play, anytime I see that this defensive end is not outside of my tackle, I'm gonna to switch to the speed option play, as this pretty much guarantees that I'll always get the pitch. What? He could go all the way. As we break it wide to the outside and score on just our third play of the game. And if that fumble wasn't enough visual evidence of how much better his team is on the next play, he takes it back to the house, running through my entire kick coverage for the touchdown on the next kickoff. We have that edge on the next play, so we go back to the speed option, and he plays it perfectly. But some things just can't be stopped, as this running back is playing out of his mind. On the next play, we check it down to him to try to get a first down third and five between two defenders, and I don't know how he hung on to that ball. We hit a corner around the next play and moss it with our 86 speed tight end who's an absolute beast in the slot. Before he gets me to a third and long and we dot up that running back on a Texas route one more time. Before hitting that drag once again and you can see the effort as my receiver is blocking for me 20 yards away from the play. That's my team. So I celebrate a little bit early. And now since he didn't get a kick return touchdown on the next kickoff, I actually get to show you the defense. The defensive formation, like I said, once again, is the 3-3 stack. And the play I'm going to use is going to be the Nickel Blitz 3 because this is a matching cover 3, which to me is the best type of defense to use in the entire game. But on the first play, since he essentially comes down what looks like a goal line offense, I decided to try to pinch the defensive line to try to stop an inside run. And sure enough, he runs outside. As this is the exact opposite way to set this defense up. The best way to set up this defense is actually by spreading so that these defensive ends will be outside 
the tackles as this will essentially make sure that they don't allow any outside runs. I also want to align my inside linebackers into each gap so that they can shoot for run fits. And then I'm going to use the blitzing middle linebacker on the other side as this will guarantee that I have no responsibility and I can do whatever I want once the play starts. If I start back from about eight yards off the line of scrimmage like this, I can easily shoot these gaps. But on the next play, I accidentally chase the wide receiver across, which is no big deal since my blitzing cornerback is coming opposite the running back anyway and makes a stop in the backfield. So you want to try to make sure you always have the blitz running opposite the running back as on the next play, he tries the same type of fake motion and we get a natural pressure from the four rushing linemen to get a stop. But he decides to go for it on fourth and five and I don't know how he squeezed it in that hole between two defenders. If you think your opponent's going to pass, all you really have to do is put this cornerback as close to the line of scrimmage as possible and then hover the line with your blitzing linebacker before dropping back into coverage. And you can see how that will help to get the cornerback around the edge a lot of times unblocked as it forces a quick throw and my opponent almost throws an interception. I give up the first down on the ground the very next play though before I decide to send that blitz on first and 10. See ya! And that quarterback runs right around Calvin Banks Jr. who literally has the highest pass blocking forward grade in the entire game. One of the best things about this defense though is that it's a matching cover three which is one of the best coverages in the entire game because we force a third and 19. If you guys don't know one of the reasons I'm using a blitzing player is because this seam flat and this three rack hook will match the receivers in front of them so if I use one of them incorrectly a lot of times I can give up a big play and on the next play he throws it up and you can see how the coverage is all over that as we get an interception and we almost went to the house with. And if we watch it again, you can see how my opponent thought that he could attack the seams by simply running a cover three play known as the verticals, where this guy here would typically get open against cover three, but since this seam flat matches, that's not gonna happen. Back on offense, we're trying to put this game away as we hit the drag once again to get a big catch and run to get in a field goal territory before my receiver fumbles again. I've never seen this many fumbles, so I'm definitely gonna put ball care to conservative for the rest of this game. On the next play, I scramble outside with my quarterback, and through the magic of poor pursuit angles, I somehow turn a negative into a positive play, before getting a horrible accuracy on the next play and deciding to go for it on fourth and three. And on God, I've never seen a defensive end make a play like this on an RPO. What? As he literally started to play about 15 yards away from the receiver and somehow batted the ball down. <coughs> And he only has about 40 seconds, but since college football stops the clock every time you get a first down, he goes right down the field on me before getting into field goal range and thinking he can moss me in the end zone. No soup for you! Leaving me only two seconds left before the end of the half. But luckily I have a one play touchdown against just about every single defense in the game in this formation out of the PA deep outs. Let me know in the comments section if you guys want me to break down just this play. As I thought he was in a cover two man, but I couldn't really tell, so I set it up the best I can. And I don't know what happened to this safety here as he completely bails on that receiver. Break yourself! And we bust this game open with a one play touchdown with two seconds left. I do miss the extra point, but hey, I gotta be happy with my 13 point lead as we were absolutely dominating this first half. In the second half, he gets ball first, and something I know is a lot of people do when I run this defense is they try to turn the runners, and that's mostly because they realize they can't pass. But he's not gonna make a comeback on the ground as this guy runs right around the left tackle once again to fourth, a second, and ten before I get a busted coverage myself. Where you go? As I have no idea where that guy was going, and he lets Isaiah Bond, the best receiver on the field, house call. And now I'm worried that that extra point's gonna come back to haunt me, so my plan is just basically kill some clock, get into the fourth quarter, and take a two possession lead of some kind as we work our offense and dink and dunk our way down the field before he ultimately stops me inside a field goal range. And we're letting all this clock run out. before we take a two possession lead to start the fourth quarter. And we play a little bit too much of a prevent style defense as he goes right down the field going out of bounds every single time before making a great play on a simple drag to make a bunch of guys miss. And the speed on this team is just different and I can't match it. As he goes all the way down the field and almost scores to get inside the five before punching it in and only running about 20 seconds off the clock. But sometimes the best defense is a good offense, and we have one of the best dink and dunk offenses in the game in BYU. As we hit a big first down there, he gets me to a third and five, and I notice he's running a lot of cover three. So the main difference between cover three and cover three match is that this streak from the slot receiver here will not get open against cover three match. But if it's regular cover three, it will. So I put this receiver on a streak, and the second I see he break away from his defender, I hit that for a big first down. After a couple plays, I try to do it again later in the drive, only this time 
for whatever reason, I get a bad throwing accuracy that could cost me the game. And now on fourth and 10, he is definitely watching for that as he makes a pre-snap adjustment to move a safety or a middle linebacker into that area. And now I realize that I got to find another way. As I could kick a field goal and then give this guy a chance to drive the length of the field and possibly take the lead, but instead I just cook something up on the fly as we cross up his user and we get a big first down right over the middle. As we can now run out the clock and I'm not taking any chances before we decide to kick a field goal just to rub it in. Fuck you! As we just upset the number one team in the nation in Texas and probably the cheapest team in college football 25. So I'm going to end the video there, but if you guys want to learn more about this defense and how to use it, I made a full breakdown of how matching cover three works. I'll have that pop up on the screen now, so just click the links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.